everybody, my name is Bono Isaac Barry from Barry's High Slab and welcome to Math for Children Lesson 5.1 PEMDAS. So what is PEMDAS? Well, this is commonly known as the order of operations. What does that mean? Well, it's not medical operations, but Rather, we mean order of operations as in plus, minus, times, division, and a few others that you'll see shortly. So, how does order of operations work? Why do we need order of operations? Well, let me show you one thing and then how two different people solve it. So, let's have one equation and I'm just going to make this up from the inner workings of my head. 2 times 3 plus 5 uh, squared uh, minus 7, let's say. Okay, so that's uh, my little thing. That's just what I thought of. And uh, let's make it a little spicy by putting divided by 11. So let's see how two people solve this. So, the first person says, we have 2, right? And then we have 3 plus 5, which is 8. You just have the squared over there, minus 7 over 11. Meanwhile, the other guy starts by saying, oh, I got it. We can write it like this, first of all. Now, what this guy does is... He does, oh, 8 squared is 64. I'll show you what squared means in a minute. And then he proceeds to do that. Meanwhile, this guy thinks, ah, now we can add 3 plus 5. Now, the guy on the left thinks 2 times 64 is just 128. And this guy thinks, oh, uh, 8 squared is 64. Now this guy is like, ah, so this is just 121 over 11, which is 11. Meanwhile, this guy is like, oh, this is 128 minus 7 over 11. I don't know how I'm going to do that one. So, <clears throat> these two got different answers. Obviously, these two are different. Why? Because they didn't use the same order of operations. Which one here is wrong? Now, I'm pretty sure it's obvious which one here is wrong. But, if you didn't realize it, it's this one. This one is correct. So, <coughs> PEMDAS is basically saying which one you should do first. So, should you... Uh, so, what does the P stand for? Parentheses. Now, I know, I know, parentheses aren't exactly an operation. Putting parentheses around a 6 isn't going to change the 6. But, it's, do, it's saying that because it's basically saying, do the things in the parentheses first. That's basically what it's trying to say. So, for example, if I was mm, trying to do, uh, I don't know, this, what would I do? Well, <coughs> uh, well, I wouldn't like add anything first. I wouldn't do, for example, this. You wouldn't add the 5 to the 7. What you would do would be to take the parentheses first, just look inside them, and then find the total of what's inside the parentheses. And then move on. Here we have 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is just 16. And then we know what to do. So now, what does the E stand for? Well, it stands for exponents. So, what are exponents? Well, you know how addition is to multiplication? 
So if I add 2 plus 2 plus 2, you all know that's 3 twos, right? And we all know we could express that as 2 times 3, right? Well, now, what if I multiply 2 times 2 times 2? Well, that's 3 twos, but we're multiplying it, not adding it. So this wouldn't be 2 times 3. This would be equal to 2 to the power of 3. So we just write it in its own little space up here. So these exponents are what you should do after you do the parentheses. All right. Now, what about uh, m? Well, that stands for multiplication. D stands for division, even though these two are really interchangeable. And likewise with addition and subtraction. Just remember, do multiplication and division before you do addition and subtraction. There's the obvious ones, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. But now you might be thinking, what are the B and O for? Well, B are basically brackets, which are the same thing as parentheses. And O are for orders, which are basically exponents and something secret I'll talk to you later about called roots. So, that's PEMDAS and BODMAS. They basically just explain to you what order you should use when you're doing arithmetic. So, 2 plus 5 times 7 minus 3. Let's see, there might be two answers to this. One person might go, hey, this is the same as 2 uh, plus 5 times 7 minus 3 is 4. Then 2 plus 5 times 4 is uh, tw uh, 20, 22. And another person might go like, no, you did it wrong. This should actually, uh, actually be 2 plus 5 is 7 times 4. So it's 28. And then some person might be like, oh, but you did it wrong as well. It's going to be 7 times 7 minus 3. So uh, uh, 49 minus 3, or 46. But really, all these idiots are wrong. Because the real correct answer would be to do the multiplication first instead of doing the addition or subtraction like everyone else here said. The real solution would be to do 2 plus 5 times 7 is 35 minus 3. And then you can do addition and subtraction however you please. If uh, you do addition first, you have 37 minus 3 is 34. If you do subtraction first, you get 2 plus 30, uh, 32, which is also 34. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you can do them in any order you please. But you have to put addition and subtraction after you do multiplication and division. And of course, follow these rules that you'll see a little less often for parentheses and exponents. And that's it for PEMDAS.